Okay, just to let you know, I had to go around the block. Uh, we're going to go back uh, where we were at, but we're going to be going southbound. Southbound on Natchez at Cornelia. This is the street where it splits. One goes north and one goes south. Which is wrong. All right, what do I see? My first impression of the street is there's a whole lot of trees that overhang the street. Some of these trees got dead branches. I see a, a sewer not uh, level with the ground. I see a lot of patchwork over here, either from the gas company or the water department. Uh, a lot of patchwork going on here. All right, now you got a tree. It's right in front of me that should have been trimmed. You know, it'll probably scratch the roof. I don't know if you guys can hear this when I'm going through, but uh, this is not not good when you gotta hit the tree in the middle of the street. All right, we're coming up to Roscoe. Uh, Roscoe looks like there's a big patch right in the middle of the street here. Probably a sewer cave in at one time. Uh, again, there's a pile right next to the sewer. I see patchwork up in front of me here. Probably a uh, private drain and that goes into this uh, empty lot. What they call that is, uh, is a water shut off. They dig up the street and they uh, plug up the tap that's coming in from the main the main sewer or the main uh, water main and it goes into the house. What they do is they call it a, a shut off and they, and they uh, shut the water from flowing through there. They, they got the tap or shut off the tap at the main. All right, let me pull over here let everybody go by. On the street here, I see a lot of trees. I see a, a street hump here. You got water still in the, in the curb lane here, next to the curb. And there's another pothole here. And we're coming up to School Street. The street's kind of wavy still. You got water on the street over here at uh, School in Natchez, just west of. Uh, Natchez, and that would be a sewer plug. It's the, the, the sewer's all plugged up with debris. They need to send this orange peeler uh, back around here to suck all that debris out of here, to, you know. And as I'm going down the street, I have to wait for this guy going to park in the, in the handicap hole here. He ain't got much room. I mean, there's the funny thing is here, this guy has got three reserve parking signs. Now, if you take a look at this, it's at uh, 32. Well, I can't need this. 32.42 Natchez. There are two different permit numbers, and this one spot is so small you can't even get a little Volkswagen in there. That's how small is uh, that one reserve spot is. I don't know how this guy got that approved. I mean, your your parking spot is only supposed to be 20 feet long. And that's the standard for uh, handicapped parking. Anything bigger than that is violation. But uh, I feel that guy got cheated. If he's paying for that handicapped parking permit there, he got cheated because that's like a half a car lane. Um, we're coming up to uh, Belmont here. I'm going to shut it off. I'll see you in the next.